Just this afternoon, a Newport man was sentenced to life in prison after pleading guilty to murdering his girlfriend last fall. We're talking about this woman, 34-year-old Alexandra Precioso. Fox 12's Audrey Wheel has been following this case from the very beginning and takes us through the emotional day in court. Alexandra Precioso's mom and several other family members spoke in court today directly to Ryan Gaskins about the heartbreak he's caused them and the prosecutor detailed a tragic recurrence of domestic violence. What's hard to accept for everyone is that um, she loved you, you loved her, yet you killed her. In the Lincoln County Courthouse Tuesday afternoon, family members spoke of a beautiful young woman gone too soon, as we heard details of what happened to her in late October of last year. That's when Alexandra's mom, Patty Prezioso, found her daughter's body buried under clothes in their home. Today in court, her boyfriend, Ryan Gaskins, admitted to killing her. She was strangled to death. This case is tragic all the way around, um, but I think for me as a prosecutor, one of the most tragic things is that we could have seen this coming. Court records show that in 2018, Gaskins was sentenced to just over a year in prison after pleading guilty to assaulting Alexandra. The prosecutor said he also strangled her then and pulled out her bone anchored hearing aid. He was prohibited from contacting her after his release, but the two got back together. Patty read to Gaskins part of Alexandra's journal and addressed him directly. I'm so scared to love Ryan the way I do, but I can't help it. Maybe it will end in disaster just like every other time. I loved life when I loved Ryan. It just makes me sick to my stomach. I will never, ever forgive you, Ryan, for taking my daughter's life. Gaskin spoke to her family, too. Alex was a great person. She was a better person than I'll ever be. And not a day goes by that I'm going to live with this. And I am truly sorry from the bottom of my heart that this happened. He was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole after 25 years. Patty says there's some relief in that, but nothing will ever be enough after losing her daughter. I have her memory, every single memory here and here, and it will always be there. And her death will not be in vain. This is going to matter to a lot of people. The prosecutor said she hopes Alexandra's story can be a training tool to improve prosecutions and increase education around domestic violence. Patty says she hopes that that's part of her daughter's legacy too. In Newport, Audrey Wheel, Fox 12 Oregon.